Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is part two of a three-part series sharing the Tropical Plant International Expo in Tampa or the TPIE. Now this was my first time attending this event. At this event, all of the amazing growers in Florida, um, a lot of different plant companies that have plant products, they go there and they display and exhibit everything that they have to offer. So if you're a plant shop, you'll go to this event, see what the growers have going on, uh, see some of the plants that they're really excited about and then place your orders, that kind of thing. So if you haven't seen part one, I do recommend it. Now in this episode, um, I share a contest that was going on. Costa Farm submitted some incredible rare tropical plants that they told me we can expect to see on the market sometime. They did not give me a time frame. Um, now it could be this year, it could be in three years, I'm not sure, but I still wanted to share these really amazing plants that I cannot believe are coming on the market. I mean, one of them is like my number one wish list plant that that I still can't wait to get my hands on. I cannot wait to hear your feedback, see what you guys think, maybe which plants you're most excited about. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and I am a plant hobbyist that is obsessed with all things tropical plants, rare plants, cool indoor plants, crazy plant person and proud like I always say. So if that brings a smile to your face, uh, consider subscribing so episodes will show up in your news feed. We also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. My next episode is going to be showing all of the awesome plant trends uh, for 2022 that you can expect. Being able to be in front of all of those growers and I went up to them asking like, hey, what can we expect to see? What plants are you growing that you're seeing you know, the people that are purchasing from you, what are they excited about? Because it's an indicator what us as planty people can expect to see. So I, that one's coming soon as well. I hope you enjoy part two of this three-part series. Don't forget to leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. So this is a section where they have an exhibit and you get to vote for your favorite plants. Now, let me show you guys what the different kind of, you know, groups are. We have new flowering plant, new foliage plant, and we also have new product. So they announced the winner tomorrow and I'm really excited to go through and take a look and then put my vote in. So some of these plants are actually Costa Farms plants that are going to be on the market, you know, in the next few years. Not exactly sure when, but they're still allowing me to share it with you guys. And I am like, I don't know if you can hear how big my smile is right now. So I'm gonna go through and talk about the different plants that are um, to be voted on and also sharing which ones you can be keep an eye, eye out for with Costa Farms. First up in the flowering is this really adorable hibiscus. Look how cute this is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Now this is um, in the new foliage variety and this is a Costa Farms one and it is a Monstera Dubia. Now if we know anything about how well the Raphidophora high yeast shinglings have done, I mean, I'm really excited to see the Monstera dubias when they do come up on the market. And look how beautiful those leaves are, oh my gosh. Then I was admiring this one. This is also in the new foliage category. Uh, this is a Tradescantia rock, so, and it's really cool. It's very different from other Tradescantias. It has like kind of larger leaves. I like the shape of it, it's kind of bushy. It has the beautiful purple on the backsides of the leaves. Really awesome. Then we have the Raven ZZs. Then we have Hollywood Hibiscus, also for new flowering plants. Absolutely lovely. Look at those blooms. Some gorgeous orchids here, like absolutely stunning. Here we have new flowering Phalaenopsis orchid. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. And this one, like, so cute little vibrant purple flowers. Some roses in the new flowering category. Oh, so purple and lovely. Wow, this is just like the sun shining, the sun parasol sunbeam and new flowering plant. Isn't that lovely? Just a, such a cheerful plant. Ooh, some bromeliads, also in new flowering. Guzmania pennies. Love it. Here's another bromeliad in new flowering. This is so fun, guys. I'm like, can't believe I'm here, like looking at these cool plants. I'm just so floored. <laughs> I'm reeling. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, a new flowering. Here's some more flowering. These are orchids. Gosh, so vibrant and beautiful. Another orchid. And then 
They have this gorgeous Anthurium Magnificum, actually a new flowering plant. Such a beauty. I like how they have the kind of moss around the bottom. I think that looks really nice. The leaves are beautiful. And yeah, it does have quite a few blooms happening here. Continuing on, there's some crazy exciting plants down there. Like, make sure you watch because, oh my gosh, we have aloe, Eculeta, dra um, Jurassic Dragon, in new foliage. Look at this cute little guy, oh my gosh. Peperomia, Piculobanda. Look at this little guy. I love these little delicate leaves. Peperomia Caperta, Napoli Knights. I see this one out and about all the time. It's so cute. I love these little peperomias and the different leaves that you see and the shapes and the colors. And over here we have watermelon peperomia, an absolute favorite. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to admire the leaves for a second. I love the red stems. I actually have a few of these. <laughs> wow, look at this one. This is an Episcia cupriata, Pink Panther. I believe these are related to African violets. Look how cute. Oh, look, it even has a flower. This one's for new foliage plant. Nice. Then we have Skindapsis trubii moonlight. Love, love, love a Skindapsis. So beautiful. Hawaiian palm. That's nice. Look at this little crocodile fern. You know what, guys? Can we just show a little appreciation for a crocodile fern? They are so cool, and I don't ever hear people talk about them. Like, look at those crocodile scale leaves. Amazing. That's for new foliage. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this Alocasia silver dragon. This is a Costa Farms um, plant that they have submitted. Wow. That is incredible. Goodness me. Their plants just always look so good. And I love, it does, you know, gets that silver dragon name from the way that the leaves look, kind of looks like dragon scales. I was really excited when I saw this one. It's a variegated Diffenbachia, guys. Diffenbachia, cool beauty. This one is also being sub submitted by Casa Farms. One of those ones you should keep an eye out for over the next few years. Incredible. We all love Diffenbachia's tried and true, amazing plant, and now they are bringing the variegated version, which I've only ever seen one time before at a rare plant shop, so that I was crazy excited when I saw that. Diffenbachia Reva. Reva's so cool. This one's also by Costa Farms. Look at this beauty. So stunning. Next up is this beautiful Chiochenanthus. Oh my gosh, amazing. I had never seen this plant until I visited Costa. Mike showed it to me and I've been obsessed ever since. So cool. Yes. <laughs> they are having the holy moly Monstera, the Monstera Esqueleto, Esqueleto um, as a submission for this. And it's a plant that you can be looking out for in the next few years. I have to say this is a wishlist plant of mine. I am shocked to see it here and so excited. I I mean look at these leaves. It's it's Monster Addisonii on steroids. I love it. And the leaves get so huge, so massive, amazing beautiful fenestrations. I, I don't know, it's the type of plant I could just stare at all day. And here we have the gorgeous Gomiferum. Uh, I know some people have already been finding these on the market, which is really exciting. Gorgeous plant, very easy care. It has the really nice red stems with the fuzzy, the fuzzy kind of texture to them. So beautiful. Huge smile on my face to see these plants here. Then, oh wow, Raphidophora cryptantha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how sparkly they are. Absolutely lovely, another Costa Farms. And then we have this beauty here. This is a Schistomaglottis Wallachai. Oh my goodness. Look how amazing this plant is. Again, a rare plant that you don't see around very often. This is another Costa Farms plant submission. I mean, I'm gonna have a hard time picking a favorite because oh my gosh. 
some different arrangements, new foliage plants here, uh, submissions by Eats Garden. Look how cute these are. Oh, little plants, little yoga ladies, little turtles. Oh my gosh, little Halloween, so cute. Oh my gosh, little vehicles. They also have a category which is voting for, you know, most exciting kind of plant products that are coming out this year, new products. This is pop-up pots. That's interesting. Helpful too. Then, next product is variegated St. Augustine grass. We never knew we needed it, but we need it, right? <laughs> Oak cork boards. Okay, I have been seeing some people get really excited about this. This is new. Very exciting. I mean, it's perfect for if you want to grow your plants up it. Um, it looks really nice, lightweight. You know, we're, we're all enjoying growing our you know, plants up, whether it's moss poles or planks. So that's pretty cool. Then we have some new pots here. We recycle palm tree fibers to create a biodegradable alternative for planting natural pot for plants. I love that. Here's a new pot. Floridus. These have what looks like an attached saucer. Um, pretty cool. Some more planters. Dojo Pot and Planter by Chive Incorporated. This one's by Arf America Corp. The Florida's pot is. Little Pots and Saucers. These are so cute. <laughs> also by Chive. Then we have Tiles E-Cover. Sustainable packaging. Oh, I love it. And then here we have a Paz Pot. It can be as a traditional pot or saucer or a self-watering pot. Love that. There were so many additional cool plant products at the event um, and quite a few ones so i just have it here it's all listed on the fngla website if you'd like to go and see all the different plant products there was one really cool one that i didn't get to film called mossify and it's a bendable moss pole they also have coco core uh, bendable poles so i wanted to show it here because i thought it was a really cool idea as well that was absolutely incredible. So big congratulations to winners of the contest. 10 out of 10, well earned, I thought, and definitely deserve to be the winners. So, but can you believe those plants that Costa Farms submitted? First of all, the Monstera Esculito, Esculeto is right up there at the top with like my number one wishlist plant. I could not believe that plant when I saw it. It was magnificent. <laughs> Oh, oh, absolutely amazing. Also, the variegated Diffenbachia. Come on now. That was really, really cool. I've only ever seen one of those before at Perfect Choice Nursery. So that that was really exciting. The Schistemaglottis. Oh, my pronunciation. Absolutely stunning. Oh, those leaves. I cannot wait until I see those on the market. Oh, and could you believe the shingling plants that they have coming up? I mean, we've all seen how awesomely well the um, Raphidophora hyes have done. I literally have one like growing up my wall. So the fact that they have the Monstera dubia and also the Raphidophora cryptantha. So, so amazing. I just was blown away and I couldn't wait to share it with all of you. Let me know what you thought. Like, I just thought that was the coolest thing. And, and the Anthurium won the best flowering plant it was so so beautiful i mean chef's kiss amazing and it was neat to see all the plant products as well so again part three is going to be i say that might be my favorite episode of the three of this series if you'd like to see episodes like these show up in your news feed and you're a crazy plant person as well make sure to subscribe and again we have our really cool plant community on instagram that we would love for you to be part of well i hope you have a terrific rest of the day you will definitely be seeing me soon bye